In this animation, we will examine capacitor transients, specifically the RC charge and discharge curves. The charging and discharging of a capacitor in an RC circuit is not linear. The instantaneous voltage across the plates of the capacitor at any given time during charging or discharging can be ascertained by applying exponential growth and exponential decay relationships. Here we have the general equations for exponential growth and decay. The general growth and decay relationships can be modified for use with RC circuits. Here we can see the restated equations for RC charging and RC discharging. In these modified equations, Vc represents the capacitor voltage in volts. E represents the applied voltage in volts. R represents the series resistance in ohms. C represents the capacitance in farads. T represents time in seconds. And the letter tau represents the time constant of the RC circuit and is also given in seconds. The time constant, or tau, of an RC circuit is equal to the series resistance in ohms times the capacitor's capacitance in farads. The capacitor is considered to be fully charged or fully discharged after a time period equal to six times the value of tau in seconds. An example problem will help us to understand how these relationships can be applied. In this example, we have an RC circuit containing a 5-volt source, a 120 kiloohm resistor, and a 470 microfarad capacitor. We are asked to calculate the time it will take the capacitor voltage to reach 4.5 volts once the switch in the circuit has been toggled into position A. Once the switch is in position A, the capacitor begins charging and will reach a steady state value of 5 volts. The voltage across the plates will exhibit exponential growth while the capacitor is charging. We therefore begin with the basic charge curve equation for an RC circuit and rearrange it to solve for time in seconds. We begin by dividing both sides of the equation by the applied voltage. We then subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. Next, we multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. We now restate the equation in terms of E. We then take the natural logarithm or ln of both sides of the equation. Lastly, in order to isolate time on the left side of the equation, we multiply both sides of the equation by the value of negative tau. We now have a relationship that allows us to determine the time it takes to reach a desired capacitor voltage. The applied voltage, E, and desired capacitor voltage, Vc, are provided in the question. The last value we require in order to evaluate the time equation is the time constant value, or tau, of the RC circuit. As previously stated, the tau of an RC circuit is equal to the product of resistance and capacitance. The tau, or time constant, of this RC circuit is equal to 56.4 seconds. The final step in acquiring the solution is to substitute our known and calculated values into the equation and solve for the value of time in seconds. When working with the ln function, it is preferable to do the calculations inside the brackets first and then press the ln button on the calculator. The voltage across the plates of the capacitor 
will reach a value of 4.5 volts in approximately 130 seconds.